Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today is going to be different to know. I've been doing loads of clearing up and stuff, and um, I thought it's, it's getting on. Well, it's been like about ten months now since the last video of of this thing went out, and um, I'm going to run through the um, the bits that need sorting on it, and I'm going to try and get it started again as well. If it, I know I, when I had last had it running. I took the water up and I could see some drips coming from the front of the engine, but it was all a bit of a rush. Um, so I'm going to investigate that in this video as well. And I'm going to check out a few other things on it and just go through a few little bits because um, I'd like to get it sorted so that it can actually be used again. Because, you know, it's perfect size little tractor for up here. It does need a few things doing before it can be used for on a you know like a regular basis let's investigate around the most entertaining part the part that does it for me is when you can you actually get it running absolutely love the sound of this engine when it's running there's just something about them the tires flat as well that one's a bit soft let's uh let's jump straight into it let's have a look at her yeah, that's okay for what I want to do. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. Now, I assume there's still loads of fuel in here. Half a tank still. Very old fuel. I'll t tell you that much, but it still works. I assume... Okay. The water in there now. That next thing is oh, it is a bit of a pain. I'll just I'll chuck a battery on it and I'll show you the method for starting this thing. These run opposite way to normal. Good. Quite tight, so I don't think I'll need to nip them up. Actually done. Now, uh, when you use the start lever, it pushes. Let's see if I get you in there. It pushes on. Um, get my big old hand out of the way. There's a. Oh, this thing is just busted anyway. Can't. In there. Now, a little solenoid, right? And this bar here engages. Let's try and do this one handed. Push the button in on the gearbox. Like that. To allow it over. It doesn't make contact. Which is really frustrating. It doesn't quite go far enough forward. Using two hands to start the bleeding thing, right? So I'm just going to quickly nip this off, see if there's adjustment. Just going to nip, just going to nip that off there. See if there's any adjustment on it, so that I can get it to just go that little bit further. All it needs is just a, you know, a few, a few millimeters further, and it would work. Dokey, let's get this pre cleaner out of the way quick. Actually, I usually have it off from the top, I think. Yeah, that's the one. Trust the old adjustable. Nope. <laughs> you always think it, don't you? Oh, yeah, that's loose enough. Never is. Never get it off of your fingers. Right, that's that out of the way. Let's have a looky here. Ah, you little bugger. Pin. Mmm, tiny little. I bet. Oh, okay. Let's have a look, see. Oh, do you know what? Oh, no. Nutsies, didn't it? 
specialist apparently. Right, I'll get this going. Spanner's too big really, but I can't be bothered to go and get my proper toolkit, so just the emergency toolkit in there at the minute. I reckon about there. Could be wrong. Trial and error. Shouldn't this is not the right this is not the right tool for the job, but I'm just arsing around and I I ain't got a clue what I'm doing, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really really work on tractors. Cars. But you know not that different are they? Oh god bloody here we go look. Where have I put it? It's probably right in front of me, there it is. There's your pin. Let's have a look. Let's see if it actually engages and I tried to do something. Maybe it's not quite enough. Let's just check. Okay, this is strange. Maybe it's not quite far enough. I, I'll do that. I'll wind it out a little bit further. Right. That's done the trick. I'll just... Run there. So, let's see if we can get it to, f get it to go. Uh, on. that it was all going to come leaking out anyway. There's just there's just something about these tractors. Isn't there? Okay, that's idling nicely now. Uh, I want to check the hydraulics, see if they're still lifting. They did start working last time. Get that in there. Oh, hang on. Ah, clutch first. Slide that up. Hmm. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. It's just, just dripping out of there now. That seal's obviously gone. And look at the state of it. Hmm, I'd say that's 80% <laughs> water, I expect. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're working. I imagine the um, I'm not sure if. Turn that down a bit. Oh, turn it off. Um, 
I imagine that the I I don't know I don't know enough about these things. The filter in there I imagine is blocked with all that crap. Look at it, it's all coming out now. Look, look at that lot. Mmm, creamy. <laughs> oh dear. So that's another thing. You're gonna need a seal. It's gonna need a complete drain down and flush. Uh, what else are we at? Water pump needs doing. <sighs> I imagine the, the, I don't know what's gone wrong with it, but the seal's gone on it. Oh, hang on. Don't know if you'll be able to see that on. Oh, the sun's just ruining it, isn't it? A bit of movement in there. So I, I imagine, yeah, look, and it's. Even when it's turned off now, it's leaking back under that shaft there. So yeah, it's going to need, that's going to be a water pump jobby. Uh, the belt's pretty hard and manky. It's going to need coolant hoses as well because they're so brittle. I know that uh, this side, the brakes on this side don't grab. You can see down here as well, uh, obviously something's not quite right in there in the wings typical i'm going to pump the tires up on that side now and um just have a little potter top the water back up so it doesn't you know cause any any further issues and um yeah have it, just a little up and down just feel the clutch never really um looked into it properly i'm quite happy that i fixed that little problem with the, the start now you don't have to use two hands to um actually get the thing going anymore which makes life a little bit easier so that's one that's one thing that's sorted now i know that I ain't got to mess about a bit just come up here use the stick now i'll pump pump these tires up a bit and then um i'll have a little potter get a bit of footage of it rolling driving and whatnot it's, it's got to be done in it not for too long because obviously it is leaking all the water out of it so and uh these diesel filters get those changed god knows how old they are i really don't know evidently something weeps oil filter as well get that done oil chow i mean the list <laughs> the list is just uh growing bigger and bigger and bigger but i, I think it's worth it to be honest it, it wants the few little bits to it and it'd be usable again usable tractor like with this thing i mean when it comes to doing the brakes obviously i'll do that um in one of the workshops because it just in case something doesn't go quite right the, the tractor can stay there propped up you don't have to try and throw it all back together and get it moved out of the way at some point i don't know when i'm going to get around to doing it i'll try and do bits and pieces on it in between the other stuff i'm doing because Otherwise, it just gets tedious and boring when all you're doing is clearing up mess and smart moving things around and smartening the place up. It's nice to actually just have something like that that you could come up here for the day and spend the day messing about with that rather than cutting down brambles, <laughs> mainly brambles and some tree work. <sighs> well, I'd say that's got something to do with it being flat. Hmm. You just saw it opening up as I was putting the pressure in. Not much pressure in there, but... Yep. So that's... You no. Know, that is disappointing. I don't... I can't even think if we've got... A tyre up here for it. I wonder if there is. I might, I might go and have a little scavenge and see. I mean, that's... You know... There's stuff everywhere up here. Could be a tyre for this. Or even a wheel. I know there's some rears. Um, but I haven't got a clue on the front. So I'm going to go and have a check. No. I had a look around everywhere for about 20 minutes now, I suppose. Can't find anything. Oh. That's... It's just, you know, a really fancied taking her for a spin you know no it's not you know not the end of the world is it but 
it would have been nice to just give it a quick run and feel, feel uh, get a feel for it and whatnot. See, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the clutch does work and it's light. Um, just wanted to check for like play and movement in the steering and stuff. Like, I'm sure it does need a, a full on overhaul. Realistically, feel a bit flat now. I was all quite hyped up about being able to um, get it up around the farm a bit. I'll get it fired up again and moved <laughs> 10 feet back to where, where it lives. Right, and that's that. Back in its spot for the meantime. It's a shame I couldn't get any footage of rolling shots and stuff because it, it, they do look so. I don't know. There's just something about it when you see them rolling past with the sound of that diesel engine. Absolutely brilliant. But yeah, unfortunately, I just, that's all I've I've got on that today. I mean, I just thought I'd do a little feature on it just to. Uh, change things up a little bit struggling struggling now i'm absolutely starving hungry yeah so that's that's the list of bits on the ferguson that we'll need doing before it's usable again um i'm sure I'll probably get it usable and someone else you'll find someone else wrong with it but i don't know we'll see um so yeah that's done ticks off the list i know now roughly what um i've got to get for the thing that's just i hate leaving it in there but at the minute there's so much stuff everywhere there's, there's nowhere else for it to go especially as it's you know you can't really use it you can't do anything it'll just be in the way so that is the best spot for it really but it's, it's still depressing to see it sat in there yeah that's enough um thanks to anyone that's been subscribing and and, and watching I you know it it's brilliant I absolutely I'd never thought that um this sort of thing would be going on we will see you on the next one on the Lewis family farm <laughs>